All right, uh, this is Patrick Rollins with Yo Chicago, and I'm here in the Regatta. It's a building in Lakeshore East with uh, Rich Kosmacher and Vanessa Cassiano. Rich is a business development manager for iGo Car Sharing. They're based in the Center for Neighborhood Technology in Bucktown, and Vanessa is community relations director for Lakeshore East. And uh, we were just talking a little bit about the partnership you guys have set up with iGo Car Sharing. Um, Rich, could you tell us a little bit about uh, iGo Car Sharing and just the ins and outs of it briefly? Yes. yes. iGo is a, we're a not-for-profit car sharing organization. Uh, we're about 7,500 members strong. Uh, we have about 165 cars, and our members are able to reserve and use our cars by the hour. Uh, we have cars in 30 different Chicago neighborhoods and Evanston and Oak Park, and we're very excited to have brought our first cars here to Lakeshore East this fall. And Vanessa, how did that partnership begin? Um, the partnership with IGO began um, as a component of our Magellan Rewards Program, which is a program uh, that we created to make life easier for our residents. Um, the program actually has over 70 different um, partners in like 10 different categories, but IGO Car Sharing uh, fit for many reasons. Obviously, it's a non-for-profit, it's an environmentally uh, friendly partner of ours, as well as it brings a great service to our community. Um, we're here in Lakeshore East. We're very east. Um, we're south of the river. Um, we're near Lake Michigan, and it's a little bit farther outside of the loop and some other areas at this point. Um, so a lot of our residents are using the idle car um, as basically almost an, an amenity to run their errands, take care of their business, um, and to use the car during the week and on their weekend pleasure. Uh, Rich, I go cars are for people who need it for just really brief errands, is yes. that right? What's your kind of your target population? The, the target is uh, in mostly these are city dwellers who use public transportation to get to work, uh, CTA, Metra. They might even be walking or taking a bike to work, but they clearly don't need a car to drive to the office. And they're really using our cars for things like grocery shopping, errand running, uh, doctor visits, visits to family in the suburbs, things like that. So our target market um, really, it, it covers a very wide spectrum of the people that live in the city of Chicago in terms of income level and in terms of um, the neighborhoods they live in. We have a holiday party every December in our office and I'm always amazed at the variety of people, that members that come to our holiday party. And so, Vanessa, is this target population kind of representative of, of Lakeshore East, especially as you're growing now? Lakeshore East is a mixed community, so not only do we have apartment renters, we also have condo owners. So again, this suits our community very well. Um, a lot of the apartment renters don't have cars, so and they walk to work. So it's actually a really great, again, amenity for them to have on the weekends. And same with our condo owners, as Richard and I were talking, um, a lot of them only have one car, and most of them are dual, or if not more people in their in their units. So it's nice almost to be used as a secondary car for a lot of our um, residents as well. So right now there's there's one car, is that right, or there, there's two for the development? Um, there are two cars in the Lakeshore East um, neighborhood. One is uh, located at one of our condo buildings called the Lancaster, and that also is um, accessible to the public. Mm -hmm. We do have another car in one of our buildings, um, 340 on the park, but at this point that is more of a private car for that building, for that specific building. So to answer your question, we have one public car for um, the community at this point. Okay, and you were talking a little bit about growth in the future. I mean, do we anticipate bringing one or more cars to the development in the future? Absolutely. I, I, I think you could conservatively say that once Lakeshore East is fully built out, uh, I think there could be a dozen cars in total potentially servicing. The, Vanessa mentioned earlier they were going to be close to, is it correct, there's a 5,000 units total in Lake Shore East? Yes, the master plan for Lake Shore East will have uh, 4,900 or so mm -hmm. um, residences. So that's just with the new developments. So there's also some existing developments um, in the community as well. So we're looking at eventually in probably about the year 2016 when we're complete there being anywhere from five to 7,000 residents, anywhere, residents units, mm -hmm. and anywhere from 20 to 30,000 people living yeah, in this area. Yeah, it, it, it's a small city, it, within a city, and, and it could, it, for us, it's, it's got the perfect dynamics of, of a good car sharing area. It's got density, and it has people 
and are not needing a car to make money. So Rich, you pay by the hour to use the, the Ago cars? You do pay by the hour. You, you first you become a member, and it, it is $75 to become a member. I'll let Vanessa talk about discounts for Lakeshore East residents. Um, the, the typical hourly charge is around $8 an hour, and that includes up to 150 miles of driving in a 24-hour period. We have variable pricing, and that means that our prices are different during the week than they are on the weekends, and our prices are different for certain kinds of cars. But I would say overall, the average is about $8 an hour. Okay, and what do you guys have worked out through Magellan Rewards? Um, part of Magellan Rewards um, is that we offer discounts to all of our residents, and in return, um, we do some marketing for those companies. So, I go, we have negotiated a $50 membership, so it's a $25 savings. So, with a $50 membership, then again, they can just use it by the hour, as Richard was saying, at a minimal cost. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back with Rich Kosmacher. We're actually in uh, the parking deck of uh, Lakeshore East. We're outside where the uh, the Igo car is parked. And, and we, we, we were all together. We made a reservation. I made a reservation about five minutes ago for this car for 30 minutes. What I'm doing is I'm taking my Igo smart card and I'm holding it over this card reader. And the car just Everybody has good classes in the middle. And I just started the talk.